what part did you grow up in, like specifically? Vineyard Hills. We moved to Vineyard Hills from Ohio when I was four years old. Remember what building was building was? Uh, 11. Oh, all right. That's 1194. <laughs> can't, can't forget that. 32 brick buildings and a whole lot of families. A whole lot of fun. There's bad times and good times, but more good than bad. It was a lot to do, big place for a little kid. 12th Street, 13th Street too, you know, all them. Yeah, it was like that whole East Willing Hill, all the way around, the houses, black owned. High Charles, Low Charles, there was all houses up there. But we weren't allowed in Lincoln Homes. You had to go around it. Yeah. We battled, battled Lincoln Homes all the time. We used to battle the bottom of the hill too, man. <laughs> I ain't lying. I ain't lying. Right there, the blinking light, that was the middle. Everything up there was the top. Everything down there was the bottom. And we battled. It was a kid rival thing. We played ball against each other real hard. Every little area had their little so-called team, you know. And we battled. We gonna meet on top of the hill and play right up there on that little playground. It was a big, dirt. all that stuff wasn't there. The pool wasn't there. It was all dirt. All the way back to the basketball court it was all dirt, and that was our football field. That was our football field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good times then. Then the fish man. I don't know. It was Coleman's fish. He'd come every Saturday top of the hill, just give away fish. Good fish, good fish. Kids was grabbing them, but grown up start lining up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got along the way we could, shoot. So do you have like a fondest early memory of Vineyard Hills at all? Yeah, uh, the romp program they had. They were all counselors at, at, I guess, from high school or West Liberty area. And they just took care of all the kids. They fed us lunch all day. Like school was out, we had something to do. Go to Rome, they took us on trips. Pittsburgh, n would have never seen a, a, a baseball game if it hadn't been for Rome. Most of us went there. That was the savior and Nelson Jordan Center. You know, Nelson Jordan Center was a savior. What do you think the public perception of Vineyard Hills was? They thought it was a bad place because of the police calls all the time. When it's trouble there, they come a whole lot, you know. They just come with no one car and, you know, they come like there's really something trouble, you know. The most of the trouble was people from that wasn't from there. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's most of the trouble was the big trouble. There was fights, there was other things, but that was in all the neighborhoods. It wasn't no different than any other neighborhood. It just was a big concentrate of uh, black folks. In your opinion, why do you think it's important to remember and talk about stuff like the hill nowadays? I think uh, because of all the uh, negative uh, things, you know, that come out about when people talk about the hill. There's a lot of negative things that come out, but this was stuff that was going on everywhere. I think it's important because it was a fun place. It was family oriented, you know. You couldn't go down the bottom of the hill and act up because your mom knew before you got home. That's how community based it was, you know what I mean? People from, that wasn't from there didn't see it like that. Wasn't nothing like the outside of Vineyard Hills would think. You know, it was a good community. It's where I got my imprint on life. It's where I was imprinted. It's where my lens see. You know, no one can see my lens. It's what my lens see. But, hey, it was projects. 